Have you ever seen a really ridiculous gun in a video game and thought to yourself, wow, that thing right there, that is pretty freaking cool. But I wonder if it would work as well in real life as it does here. Well, I asked myself that very same question and decided to put thought into action. Today on Fun With The Gun, we're turning fantasy into reality. What's up everybody? You're watching Fun With The Gun once again and today we've got something really cool to show off to you guys. This is a little pet project of mine that I've been working on and in fact those of you that follow me on Instagram have already seen this because I posted a few pictures of it. This is a scoped revolver and basically the uh, the inspiration behind this came from a lot of different video games. You know? Any video game. Yeah. Late at night. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I am a gamer at heart. That is a thing that I do. In fact that's what got me into shooting. Um, so. There are a lot of really cool guns in video games, and I always think to myself, you know, being a shooter in real life and being a, uh, a video game enthusiast, like, wow, those guns are really cool, but I wonder if they would work in real life, right? I'm sure I'm not the only one who thinks like this. So now I finally had the opportunity to test something out, and I jumped at the opportunity. Yeah, so we had parts laying around. So <laughs> yeah. We put them together. Yep. This is an old pistol scope. We had this on our Mosin Nagant. We took it off and put a good rifle scope on there. It's a Weaver, uh, two and a half to eight times. So it's got a lot of uh, magnification. You could shoot this thing long a eye long relief, distance. Yeah, long eye relief pistol scope. So it's you know it's how it should be, and it's it's really really cool. So how does this work in real life? Your answer? It works brilliantly. This is yeah. by far the coolest upgrade I have ever made to a gun, and I am in love with this. Yeah, we have it mounted on a uh, Smith and Wesson 686. Yep. In case you're wondering. So we're shooting 357s. 38 special, 38 special plus key. So let's kick this video off and show you guys just yeah, how gonna, awesome this is. You're, you're gonna, gonna love, love this. I hope you love it. Like we. Hey guys, so we're set up here at 20 yards. I've got my awesome scoped 686 here. We're loaded with some 38 specials from uh, Freedom Munitions. Let's take some shots at this steel plate over here. Actually, all three of them. We've got an uh, 8 inch, a 10 inch, and a 6 inch. Let's see what we can do. This thing is so easy to shoot. It's ridiculous. Let's see if we can go for that little one. <laughs> Dead centered. Okay, one more. Ah, oh, I missed the last shot, but you know what? I think that brings the point across pretty well. This thing is deadly accurate with the right trigger man behind it. I love this, but let's move on to some more awesome stuff. Hey guys, so we're backed up to 40 yards now, shooting at the same three steel plates behind me there. We're going to see what kind of accuracy we can get out of our scope 686 from twice the distance. Let's see if we can shoot just as accurately. Haha, <laughs> yeah! Oh, I like that. Okay, let's go for the middle one. Ah, I like that. All right, one more shot on that guy. Oh, I think I hit the chain. It made a sound. Oh, let's go for that little plate. Oh, yeah! Yeah, very good. That's a hit right there. Wait, was that all my shots? Yep. All right. So that is ridiculous. I hit five out of the six shots that I made. I am a happy camper with this little uh, scope here that we've got. This is a ridiculously awesome mod to put on a revolver. I never would have thought. So let's move on to something even more awesome. All right, folks. So this is the big time now. We are at 100 yards here. And uh, all I've got to play with here is a four inch barrel. So I'm pretty concerned about how this is going to work out. In fact, let me take a look here, see what my sight picture is going to look like. Oh man. That's going to be a tough shot. You know, I think I'm going to take a few shots standing, and if that doesn't work out, I'm going to kneel and make it real easy for myself. So, let's get this started.
Oh, just to the right of it. Oh, yeah, this isn't working out. I'm gonna go kneeling. That's a hit. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. Dinging it. Ah oh, yeah. All right, let's round it off. Four out of four kneeling, I am impressed. That is what I am talking about. This is incredible. I am so impressed with the accuracy that we are getting out of this little Smith & Wesson. Wow, I am stunned. So this is not the end of our day here. We have got one more thing lined up here. We're gonna push it back to 200 yards with that same steel target. Let's see if we can hit it from there, guys. Okay guys, so this is the end of the line here, the greatest shot that we're going to make. We are at 200 yards here with a 4 inch barreled 686 shooting 38 special plus P's. I am so curious to see if we can make this shot. I cannot wait. So let's not wait any longer, let's do this. By the way, I'm going to be shooting prone. There's no way that I will make this shot in any other way. Oh, yes. Damn. My God. That is some accuracy right there. Ah, oh, man. Looks like the plate shifted direction. It's, uh, it moved down a little bit. There we go. Damn. Okay, well, you know what? That's pretty good for uh, 357 there. I think that's about the most consistency we're gonna get. I am ridiculously impressed by this gun. So you guys out there that have revolvers, if you don't have some sort of pistol scope on it, and you've got a spare revolver lying around that you don't really do too much with, I would strongly recommend going out finding a nice pistol scope and putting that sucker on your revolver because you know what? Novelty, <laughs> this is not a novelty. He and I were, uh, were having a discussion before we started this video that this would just be a little novelty. We'd hardly ever use it. You know what, screw your novelty BS. This is a fine working machine. So everybody, that's gonna conclude our video. Thank you all so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check us out on Instagram to keep up with the channel. This has been Fun With The Gun, signing off. We'll see you all next time.